What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're jumping right in to this bad boy. And we're taking a Mox Jet. And while I take this Mox Jet, let me inform you about HelloFresh. They are a sponsor for the next two or so weeks. And uh, with the promo code above, you get free shipping and 21 free meals on your first eight boxes. Which is about three free meals per box. <clears throat> so we're going to take this Mox and you can get some free boxes. Free boxes and Moxes. You know how it goes. But yeah, it's a great deal. Katie and I have gotten HelloFresh several times. It's always been great. They give you little recipe cards um, that, that we saved and put on the fridge in case you wanted to remake the meals. And um, I just ordered about six meals, got them for about 28 bucks after the discount. So it's about half price and about $5 a meal, which is a great value. Um, so if you guys are looking for a cheap way to get some dinners... And support the stream at the same time as a twofer, you should definitely do it. I, I think it's a, I think it's a good deal, and I enjoy HelloFresh a lot. So definitely check it out. You can use the promo code up there along with the link, and uh, enjoy some some food. <clears throat> oh, Kretz with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. I'm going to take this Grief, I guess. It goes with a Mox Jettle. There's nothing in this pack that's, like, that good. Him to Torok. That's pretty good. Let's take that. And we'll just stick with this black theme that we're going with. Thieving Skydiver also nice, but, you know. No point in jumping to a second color. If you don't have to. Still no frames dropped. That's hilarious. So apparently all I had to do was restart. And then it's like, you know what? Now your internet connection is just fine. Fascinating. And now we have an Oko. What are the two stips I have? Hold on, let me close this just in case I gotta... Okay, cool. So currently we have... Not the Plague, Five Color Super Friends, and Kerwit... Alternate casting cost cards and casting from the graveyard and exile. Okay. I'm going to take this Oko. For one, it puts us into Sultai. And for two, it's an Oko. So really, I don't know. What do you expect me to do? Yeah, and right there in the, in the chat, you got that link for the for the Hello Fresh and the, and the and the promo code. Um, nothing in here is super exciting. I kind of just want to take Ulamog because it's Ulamog, but I don't know how we're gonna cast it. I guess we could reanimate things. Timeless Lotus is kind of cool, and I kind of like it, especially if we get like a Golos. What the hell? Oh, Baleful Strix. Now you're talking. So now we have Oko, Baleful Strix, Mox. Jet, and I hope this Golgari Signet comes back. Yes. Yes. Spellseeker's alright. I mean, if you're getting something like Time Walk or Ancestral, it's good. But if you're not, it's a 1-2 for 3. Which is a lot of commitment. For the vintage cube. I kind of like custody glitch here, to be honest with you. The sweet, dulcet tones of the me. Oh, I love a Misty Rainforest. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. That's exactly what we want in terms of lands. What do we got here? 
Titania. Okay, it's a three, four for three with reach. Whenever one or more lands open your graveyard. Did my mouse, is mouse, okay, thank God. Uh, gain two life. That's it? I don't know, Sylvan Carry Out is probably just better, right? Could take Damnation. What in Damnation? I don't want Damnation though. Eh, we'll take a Kodama's Reach. This is also a forest and an island that we can get with a Misty. I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping for a Golos here. Garrick is pretty good. I, I like Garrick better than any, like, a fast land. I'll take an Ophiomancer. Oh, look, we took the Spar's headquarters instead of the card I wanted. That's unfortunate. That's really kind of annoying. What was the card? I forgot what the card was now. That's annoying. Garrick over land. I disagree. I think the fast lands are not, they're not great. I don't, I don't love them. Playable. Oh, an Ashiok, eh? Fascinating. The Golgari Signet did not come back. I feel like it was a three drop because I put it in the three drop slot. I'm trying to remember what the card was. Oh yeah, the frame issue is completely resolved. We have drop zero frames. It was definitely on my end, um, unfortunately, but all we had to do was restart. Oh, Kadama's Reach. Ah, thank you. <sighs> Whatever. Having another land we can get is totally fine. I think it's Ashiok because of Mox. Thank you. Oh boy. Chugrin, 70 months? Man, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Rogrin Triumph. You are not Zagoth Triumph, unfortunately. But, Mana Vault is pretty good. I'll take a Mana Vault. Any chance of you and Rob doing a Phyrexia all be one set review? I would love to do that. My only concern is that I don't play enough standard. I mentioned this the other day. I don't play enough standard to like feel like competent enough. Does that make sense? Like, I can't speak to how the cards are going to perform in a standard environment. Oh, what up, Nick? You're my, you are still my longest sub until very recently. Oh man. I blame myself for that. It's not your fault, Trugren. I appreciate your support. Um, just call hot takes. That's what magic players do. Actually, that could still be fun. I think it's a relic rift wing or remand. And I don't think it's remand. I think, I think, Relic is just very good. I'm going to take it someday. <laughs> oh, dear. I done messed up. Did you see my 47-month sub? No? Wow. But, but Kyle, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. That is awesome. Maybe Brazen Bar? Is it Ponder? Could be Ponder. Is it Dak? Hmm. These are the questions we have to ask ourselves. Is a waterlogged grove? No, we want more black lands. I'm really, I actually have no idea what the pick is here. I'm gonna take Brazen Bar. I think it's, I don't, it might be Ewit. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna take Creeping Tarpet. I would love to take Time Warp, but I think we're just more concerned with fixing in our three color deck. I'll take Gilded Drake. Gilded Drake is a cool little combo card. Could be Nurturing Peatland, actually. I do like this Liliana a lot, and she's kind of cool. But, again, fixing is kind of the priority here. 
upheaval is tempting when we have relic, mana vault, mox, and timeless lotus. Do we want to be an upheaval deck? And Sylvan Carry added. We're upheavaling. Liliana of the Veil comes back. Oh, Kabalan. How I have a stib the same stib you've trophied it three times. Oh, I could probably fit it in today if that's super necessary. But also, here's a, here's an idea, guys. Um, I'll just take this guy. If you want to supply a stip instead subscribe to hello fresh it'll be like 30 bucks for you depending on how many meals you get um and i get a, a kickback from hello fresh so it's literally just a, a better situation for everybody oh riffwing came back beautiful maybe that overgrown cemetery is going to come back oh no you're already subscribed to hello fresh that's fine but also, that's a good testament to HelloFresh, right? Like, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good to hear. But that's, uh, still just fine. Yeah, we, Katie and I have subscribed to HelloFresh, like, several times, individually. Um, and we've enjoyed it, but every time we've gotten it. I would, but I like starving to death. Totally fine. Come on, what's the stip again? I forgot what your... Proxy? I mean, so I don't love Arcane Proxy unless I have, like, something reasonable, like Time Walk again or Ancestral or something. Wow, last pick Liliana and Last Hope. That's great. I <laughs> will subscribe. Melissa, that's awesome. Buttercup0603 is my friend, Melissa, who I literally went to elementary school with. So to see her in the chat is kind of hilarious. Treachery? Karn? It's a confidence in your confidant. You prioritize not confident if you see it, otherwise all fixing. And all hurt yourself cards. You hate this step, but always win. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to take treachery here. Thank you. Oh, man. Some off with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. That's hilarious. God, I kind of want to just splash for this guy because he's so good. Do we have any ramp here that's not like one mana green card ramp? <laughs> Might just be preordain. Yeah, I like a preordain. What the hell? People like preordain, right? It's a good card. We do have Relic for Red. We also have Sylvan Carry added, and we also have Timeless Lotus. So we do have three sources naturally. Shieldred is just a beating, though. So we'll take the Shieldred. And Leobold. <laughs> Boy, they're giving me all the hits here. I think it's Leobold. Yeah, we'll take the Leobold. I'm not going to not take a Leobold, please. Zagoth Triumph, exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. I like Hullbreaker Horror a lot, and I think it goes well with Gilded Drake. I say that because I got my ass beat by Hellbreaker Horror and Gilded Drake. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you basically play, play the Gilded Drake, take their guy, play Hellbreaker Horror, bounce your own Gilded Drake, and then you just get to keep their guy forever. So that's kind of cool. Gotta go eat done food before Dom. To, well, none of that makes any sense. That's barely English, Kyle. Uh... I think we just take Rafelos. I don't care about animate. Maybe it's animate dead. Sure. 
Garrick. Ignoble Hierarch is two of our colors. But requiring an, a green on turn one is just not where I want to be. Is that a stroke? It might have been a stroke. Kyle, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your food. I have no idea what to pick here. We don't have any, like, swords, so I'm not super high on Bitter Blossom. It might just be Hierarch. And Dotha is Swamp Forest. And that only gives us three lands that come into play tapped, so... It's not terrible. Also, both of these let us splash white for... for I was going to say for planes, but that doesn't make any sense, so... Wow, look... Okay, let's see. Did you see that? This, oh, Karn. Interesting. I will take a Karn. I don't hate a Hydroid Crassus here. I kind of like Acidic Slime because it just deals with so many things. Yeah, let's take an Acidic Slime. What the hell? Opposition is still here. Let's take it in case we get Bitter Blossom, and then we might just have a completely different, different Shut thing up and happening take my here. Money. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's such a big... I need to extend the um, duration of these. Uh, I think it's just Infernal Grasps. I'll just take... Draga Tree Speaker, sure. Deranged Hermit. And mm, Takanuma is actually playable. Uh, it just replaces the Swamp. Okay, so this can go here. We will play that as a land, most likely. Okay, let me see what that was. Can anyone use that code? Yeah, for sure. Uh, as long as you're a new HelloFresh user, uh, you can. anyone can use that code, and you get... 21 free meals and free shipping on your first eight boxes. So it comes about half price if you order like six meals, which is pretty cool. Like I said, me and Katie got it. Uh, we spent, it was, it was like 60 bucks and we spent 28 for six meals. So it was like $5 a meal, which is super cool. And it's like legit meals, like restaurant quality meals rather than like a burger. Um, hold on, I was looking for, I wanted to see what Kabbalan said. Okay, sure. <laughs> Our terms of service has changed. Yeah, I agree. Sure, whatever. Uh, no one cares. Uh, history. Okay. Confidence in your confidant. Do at your leisure, no rush. Me love you long time. Hello, fresh rocks. Also mayonnaise. Dark confident over everything, then fixing power, then all cards that can hurt you when played or cast. This is such an abusive stipulation. All right, let me add it to the list. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much for the support, by the way. Okay, so we have... We didn't, we didn't get there, so I'm going to take you out. Riffling, you're a two-drop, and you know it. So 25, I only need two cuts here. And Brazen, you're kind of a two-drop. We have to be upheavaling, right? We have Wall of Roots, Summon Carry Added, Mana Vault, Coalition Relic, Mox Diamond to re Mox Jet to replay immediately, Timeless Lotus, Garrick untaps lands. I'm tempted to take a Lily on the last hope. She's great and all, but I, it's I'd I don't like having double colored cards that early, he says with him to Torok. Him to Torok's kind of an exception. Like it's it's kind of like a must play, but I, 
it might be ignoble hierarch to be honest i i don't i don't love it i have a lot of fixing lands though but on turn one like what are the odds we're gonna have untapped green misty forest would have to get a forest yeah, untapped green sources is a question, right? Like that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Like our odds of playing this on turn one are just so low, and I'd just rather get a, a tap land into play. So we're gonna play all of these into this. Sort by man no, sort by color rather. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so blue we have one. And Dotha is not blue, right? Is this Abzan? Yes, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, eight. Green, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, eight. That looks good, right? Eight, nine, eight, I think. All right. Make sure there's no stray planes or anything in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In green, we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight, eight, nine. I, I also hate it when my planes stray away. Like, why would you do this? I cannot believe you've done this. And then we just wait. Ooh, that 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 turn to Ashiok, snap keep, and we get to keep Brazen Borrower up. That's fun. That's a good time. See, I don't necessarily advocate playing your uh, mana rocks that are free before you're going to use them, but when you got a Brazen Borrower. Well, I'm not going to bounce that guy. Let's see what you get. A likely story. It's your boy. Let's hit Pestermite and Kikijiki. <laughs> and Deceiver Exarch, rather. That's what I meant. Okay. Got a Bone Crusher. That is a significant amount of red cards that they're utilizing right now. Mm. 
You got it. Now they're going to res... Oh, they didn't respond. That's interesting. Well, we're going to pulse this guy. And play a tar pit. Get your copies here. I was watching the Twitch VOD recap when I could have been watching the live thing. <laughs> Come on, Magic Marker Studios. Also, Magic Marker Studios, I always appreciate your support, buddy. Have you ever played Arch Enemy? Um, yes. Not for a while, but I have all the Arch Enemy cards because I bought those sets when they came out. I really like magic variations like that that make them kind of more like board games. They got a seasoned pyromancer, which says they're like, all right, I'm not going all in on this plan anymore. So this guy dies. Yep, that's great. Ashiok's living the dream here. I do love plane chase as well. I have all the planes as well. I'm a sucker for all those supplemental products. Any discarding happening? Draws two. What do they discard? Oh, that's the exile. They discard two swamps. Got it. Oh my god. Katie's being ridiculous in chat right now. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, God. Any theories on the new battle type card? No. No friggin' idea whatsoever, dude. Why didn't they attack? I don't understand. Little Frankie's confused. Did I ever show you a picture of my Ashok tattoo? I'm not sure. Maybe I've seen it on Facebook. But also, I thought you had to leave. <laughs> I'm going to bring my brass knuckles to the pre-release in case I got... That's illegal. Isn't it illegal to own brass knuckles? Aren't those, like, outlawed? Not to say that would stop anyone, but... So I'm actually tempted to play this guy. You want to fight about it? I got... That's true. It's not It's not advisable to to argue with you about it. I agree with you. Okay, so I'm either, like, I kind of want to play this and Monarch it up. Yeah, let's do that. Because they don't have enough power on the board. Because they're going to sack with a Custody Lich. Presumably. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Whenever you become a target player, I'll target them. That'll be my choice for the sacrifice. Oh man, I love being the monarch. It's nothing like it, you know? They sacked this, presumably, so they can exile and make the elementals? I don't know.
Oof. What do you take here, I wonder? Do you take the custody lynch? Really? Both at me, huh? That's fascinating. I guess they want that monarch. Everybody wants the crown. Do I get this guy back? Yes, thank God. Okay, I wasn't sure. I mean, I kind of was sure, but, you know, you never can tell. Sometimes you can tell. They're at 10. Um, I kind of just want to bounce this guy and attack. One, two, three, four. Play oldie. Because honestly, I want... I want my monarchy back. And they're at ten. And they go to six and then four, so... You know... It's pretty good. What did I hit? I hit a pestermite and a worm coil? Wow, worm coil is spicy. I feel like this game is probably over. I was a custody leech once. Can you tell us about it? Oh, yeah. Van Wedge also wants to know. One of my buddies thinks that it's going to be a weird effect that will let your creatures attack creatures directly like in Hearthstone. Similar to any fight cards. Honestly, that is some space that Wizards has not explored. So that'd be really kind of interesting to see. Like, if a creature has battle, it can choose which creatures it's attacking. Get rid of this guy. Um, well, maybe you have a battle creature, right? Like, maybe it's a... Right, but maybe, like, it's a battle creature orc, you know, or something, where, like, you know, it's... It's a type, and that type just has that ability, so they don't have to keep templating it and giving it a keyword and stuff like that. Uh, this is an instant, so I think we're going to play that because they have Kiki Jiki and at all. You're going here. Take out a Citix. Actually, Citix time is always good, right? Yeah, definitely bring in Grasp. I also like Liliana as well. I don't know. Honestly, battle could be anything. Like that's the, that's the thing. I'll take out Custody Lich, sure. Why not? Maybe we can start with a headquarters. This gives us all our colors. That's kind of cool. If we draw a beautiful Mox Jet. Oh, that's good. Well, then we have a two into a three. Into a four. Solid threats all. What about an ugly mox jet? You know, I'll take an ugly mox jet. <sighs> Don't love that, but that's okay. Because this is only going to get triomes right now. So this, these are both comes into play tap lands. That's unfortunate. Look at this guy. Every game with this little, little shitter. Let me guess, Kiki Jiki again. Big Jeeks, as he's called. Oh man, I haven't been to your been to your live in a while. <laughs> Hope you've been doing well. See Young, what's up, buddy? Always a pleasure. Okay, that's a good dude. I mean, we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep on this Ashiok plan that we had last game. What 
What did we hit? Ancient Tomb, Signet, and Island. Two blue sources. Are we going to block if they attack? No. So we might as well attack. Like, I don't want to trade this for this when they have Pestermite. Which is what I'd rather trade it for. Ooh, Avalanche Rider. You got it. You think they're going to pay that upkeep? Now I think we just get Zagoth Trium if we're forced to get a land here. Sure. You got it. Bone Crusher and Blood Tithe Harvester. Remember when we weren't sure who was playing Blood Tithe Harvester? Now we know. We could also just get an island. Which might actually be better in that it lets us brazen borrower if need be. But it oh I guess I guess we can play uh island into peatland into Garrick. Thank you. That's pretty good. What up, the undead ninja? Twelve months. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yep, this guy again. <laughs> the beloved clash mechanic said no one ever did you play any Elden Ring I played like a half an hour of Elden Ring with Michael I don't know man like I just can't get into those games I also felt like I was running around. I play, actually, we played for like two hours, and I felt like I was running around the whole time, and I was not sure where to go or what to do. And I think that frustrated me a little bit. I might try it again. Like, it's a game that I feel like I'm missing out. It's like football to me. We're like, I don't enjoy this, but so many people do so deeply that I feel like I'm missing something. You know what I mean? How often do you get to play with all your personal cube? Not often at all, and I hate it. Yeah. Dude, Magic Marker Studio, just come move to where we are and then we'll we'll cube more frequently. This is interesting. They're evoking this guy. What did they exile? Kiki Jiki? Interesting. Are they just killing Ashok directly, you think? Or are they going one and then three? Yeah, they're doing one and three. Okay, let's see what happens. Like, so they, they can only attack with this little shitter right now. So if we bounce this guy, Ashiok goes to one. And then we play Garrick, make a guy, Block here, Garrick takes two. That seems okay. My kingdom for an underground sea, unfortunately, but. Yeah, so honestly, I think it's because Fort Collins just doesn't have a huge magic scene like that. Like, after Katie's residency, we're thinking of moving to Arizona. Um, that's ideally where we want to go because of, well, lots of reasons, actually. Cost of living is great. Uh, the climate is kind of what we're looking for, where you get these nice winters in, like, 50s. Uh, there's no snow. Um, you get a lot of money for your house. Like, for, for, for you, your your money goes a long way when, you, when it comes to, like, 
housing. Um, and I think the magic communities in like Phoenix in that area are good. I do hate snow after living in Utah and Colorado for like three winters so far. It's just like, not for me. It's extremely obnoxious. <laughs> Anime dead. This is very good. What is this deck, man? <laughs> this, like, five color... I mean, I guess they're just killing Ashiok here, and that's... That's fine. I mean, at this point, they have two cards. I'm probably just, like... It's a two-three with double strike, though. I think we just Maelstrom Pulse this guy and then play Creeping Carpet. Yeah, Fury has been very strong. I mean, I'll just take four. Oh, see so another one, like one of their cards is Pestermite, and then they have one random card. That's good for us, I guess. I feel like there's several things we can draw. Okay, now they have four cards. They drew one and then two. I wonder if they just have a handful of blue cards. Nope, guess not. Oh, we knew they had that, I guess. So I guess we knew their whole hand, right? And Pestermite's gone. Okay, so now they have Deceiver Exarch instead of Pestermite. Got it. So this is actually, we're going to do one, two, three, four. Garuki Majuki. Untap. You and you. That seemed good. What's the plan, Stan? Una's Prowler. Fascinating. I am fascinated. Yeah, easy, easy game. I mean, I, I know you're just trying to get this guy in the graveyard, but if you're going to spend five mana to make two one ones at some point, that's totally fine. <laughs> it's your boy. I mean, I kind of just like getting Baleful Strix back with this as well. If I make this an elk, do I still get um Do I still get a snake is the question. Affinity, you live in Phoenix? Oh man, now I'm definitely moving to Phoenix. That's amazing. Affinity, are you on any social media, man? I feel like we should, I should follow you or chat with you on social media since like you're such a huge part of this, this stream, ma stream maintenance. And he's like, no, I'm a ghost everywhere except for your Twitch stream. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we honestly want to save the land until after. 
because you want to upheaval then player land. So we would have had five untap two to seven upheaval with one floating. And then Taka, we could have played our land for the turn and gone up to two. So yeah, I, I did consider that, but it's not ideal when like we don't have a great way to recover. That's true. There is always Discord. And I've been using Discord recently, a lot more recently. Do we win if we just activate Tarpit next turn and an ultimate Garuki? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, and they got three to block. Sure. You can get my Takanuma. Oh, actually, I was going to play this guy, but now I can just play him, and it's even better for our for our Gary. Yeah, Ophinity, me, oh, message me on Discord, because I'm not sure if I know who you are on Discord. So, this feels good. Man, winning with Garrick's ultimate is kind of cool. Uh, presuming we win. We know they have a Deceiver X Arc and one random card, but I'm not sure how many black or red cards would be able to stop this. I guess the answer was none that they have. I'm hoping friends collectively migrate over to Discord eventually so I can finally abandon mess. Yeah, dude, Messenger has such a hold. Like, we, I have so many group chats on Messenger. Like, it's my, like, default messaging app, and Facebook knows it, man. They know what they've got. But also check out HelloFresh. <laughs> Support the stream. Check out HelloFresh. Use my promo code. 21 free meals. Free shipping. Get good food. Live your life. There's even people in the chat recommending HelloFresh. Messenger is not... It is what it is. Like, I don't I don't actively have any problems with Messenger. Like, I'm not living my life being like, God, I hate Messenger. It's just the worst. I wish this was better. Like, it's just... I open it, I send a message, I close it, you know? It works. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Guess we're looking for some black lands with this pre ordena Oh, they got a Lurus of the Dream Den. Oh, we're playing Luis. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I'm going to keep it because of this pre ordain Hmm. Fascinating. What do you do when you want both? I guess you take both, right? Um. Seems good. Three, four, five mana next turn. Can't play Shieldred yet, unfortunately, but. Fair play. So next turn being able to play Shieldred is pretty nice. Yeah, that'll do. That's good.
Hmm. Get Ashiok going or play Shieldred? This is the question. I think it's Ashiok here. Oh, we had a young pyromance and a and a blood tithe harvester two rounds in a row with this guy. Maybe this card's better than I thought. I guess he takes the him, which is one. It's a one card discard instead of a two card discard. So, in tomb, fascinating. Entomb for Brain Freeze. It's just four cards in hand. And now a, a V Toots. So Ashiok, I, I disagree with Ashiok being one of the least fun cards because it's just, it's not easy to deal with, but it also doesn't put a ton of pressure on you. I mean, it, it's like a 10 turn clock. Vindicate Shieldred. Seems good. Let's get another, let's get that Zagothi. Beautiful. That's tempting. Uh, Jace Vryn's Prodigy. What are we exiling here? Imperial Seal, Retrofitter Foundry, Strip Mine. Bunch of nonsense. We'll just play this. We have nothing to play with Timeless Lotus. I'd rather just get some pressure down. Lurus in hand, sure. Dealey Coker with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Wall of Omens, Frantic Search, sure. I mean, I am concerned that he just has a, oh, okay, never mind. I was concerned that he had like zealous conscripts and he's just going to steal Ashiok and use it against us, but that is clearly not the case.
Oh, I don't have the second blue. Uh, cancel. For some reason, I thought both of my guys tapped for blue, but that's fine. We've got to get rid of it one day. Um, yeah, just exile some more. Balance Swamp. Other guy. Fascinating. Does that win? I don't know. Cool. <sighs> Bring an infernal grasp. Yeah, LSVs are a, a huge sucker for for anything Thassa's Oracle related. Whereas, like, I'm not even sure, like, how that card works. Like, it's just such a complex series of interactions. And it's not my play style, so I don't really follow it. Like, I don't really pick up on the nuances, so I don't... I think these three mana Planeswalkers are pretty good here. Treachery is probably not great. Mm, six mana and seven mana creatures or cards are not ideal here. Oh yeah, this is much better. We'll get rid of Wall of Roots. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> now we just need to draw some action. Got it. Cycle that? It's such a good land. Yeah, we can cycle that. Him to Torok? Creeping Tarpit, sure. I guess we'll tap a blue for it instead. Hitting balance is kind of nice. <laughs> That's sad. I has a Sag. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So 
So right now we can play upheaval for six, play Mox, land, and Sylvan carry added. That's actually not bad. Rogren Retro. Uh, Sabai. So Ophiomancer creeping tar pit, and then we can just start smashing with the Mancer. Or smashing with the tar pit, rather. Or just play Riftwing next turn and then bounce their Triome. Sure. Uh, they do still have Swamp. They have... Island gone. So we know about the Swamp, the Lurus, and the Savai. I wonder if LSV on Arena lowercase, the, I wonder if the L is just a capital I. Because that's kind of clever. Sounds good. I mean, I'm assuming he has a light, like lightning helix. I guess he can't cast lightning helix, so I guess we'll just give him an extra turn. I, I don't know what he has, but I assume he has some sort of answer to deal with one of these two. So attacking with this guy is not lethal. It just puts our Ophiomancer at risk of dying to Snapcaster. So, yep, that's exactly what we figured. But, I mean, it's just as lethal next turn as it was this turn. And next turn we can Liliana and kill his Snapcaster. That'll do. That'll do, little piggy. That seemed fine. Um, I will keep this. Is 
He's trying to hem to Torok here, huh? We need this for both Liliana and for him. So we're going to play it first. If we hit that second black land, we're going to pop off. You got it. Is that? Oh, it's not, is it? I mean, it kind of is, but it's also not, you know? That's okay. We'll just get a Zagoth Triome and call it a day. Good night, little friend. Uh, bottom, top. So they're going to get a hit in on Liliana, but then we get to kill the 1-1 one, one at least. But then they get to turn it into another different 1-1. One, one. Whoa! Thank you! Yep. Let's see, that's kind of interesting. One, two, three, four... So next turn we can upheaval and then like respond with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with a Liliana or a grief. Actually, we might just be able to go grief or Liliana. That seems good. You know, they have Entomb and that's pretty much it. I'm truly happy to find this channel again and brings it back to when I was started watching cube players. Oh man. Temple VR, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh, what up, Fritz? Frantic search in the bin. So I, I assume he has Snapcaster, or maybe that's just a way to thin the deck. I actually don't know. See, that's interesting. Oh, what up, Freddy Bones? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We float two. We play a land, float three. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, that's what we wanted them to do. Oh, wow. Is there a counterspell here? That would be impressive. They're just floating mana. Sounds good. Um...
I think Michael's breaking things. Oh, they're just cycling a triome. Sounds good. Get rid of a mere forest. Feels good. So next time we can play Liliana. And I thought they, I guess they didn't play Vindicate yet, but they need two more lands to do that. <sighs> Wall of Omens, you got it. No, draw. Oh, we deal with that. A city slime, huh? Yep, feel like you block here. Slimer is pretty good, but we just have to get to that mana. Next turn we can go this guy into this guy. It seems pretty good when we're at 16. Uh, no, I will not pay for that. I'll just keep taking that damage. Oh, big old, big bales, huh? Big Christian bales. You got it. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll get rid of Lightning Helix because that's the only thing that really keeps you alive here. <sighs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. I appreciate, I appreciate him going on his own terms. <laughs> Nice, nice. All right. Let's see if we can 3-0 this bish. Who is that old man? That is not your grandfather. That is grandpa. That's grandpa Larry David. And then we have to wait. Duo stream bliss. Michael's got to go back to work, unfortunately. God, he's just he's just working for the man, you know. Dude, it's it's fucking cold down here. What's the temperature in this house? I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it up a notch. You guys control your your thermostat from your phones, because you should. It says seventy one. I'm gonna put it on seventy two, because you know what? We got that heat money. That doesn't make any sense. I will play first. I'll keep this because I know we're going to draw Mana, Mana Vault or Mox Jet. So, you know, it just makes sense. Plus, you got Oko, Relic, him to Torok. Uh, yield until the end step. Only thing I can control from my phone is the car. Yeah, but that's pretty good, too. I feel like having a car you can control from your phone is typically a lot more expensive than buying a $70 Nest thermostat. You know what I mean? 
Like we just bought the thermostat and we just hook it up in every house we come to. So, you know. Seventy two. What are you a billion? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to brag, but you know. Yes. Oh, come on, dude. Really? No land? Seriously? Where's the justice? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, you're missing land drops, eh? I'll cast the best card draw spell in Magic the Gathering history. <laughs> yes. Okay, bucko. Buckaroo bonsai. What is this, Jund? Yeah. I still burn coal to eat my adobe. Yeah, but Grandpa, doesn't Grandpa shovel it for you into the furnace, Grandma? I just need one land. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. Oh, now I got discard. Nerd. You know, that's similar to a land. That's a land on layaway. So next turn, if we hit a land, we can play Grief. If we don't, we can play like Leovold or Oko. You got it. People don't know what layaway is anymore, man. Fuck, that's a good that's a good joke that that's a good point that like how aged that Oh wow, that's funny. Hey, that's like a land, you know? It's like a a land. It's like a land. Are you gonna are you gonna daze this? What are you gonna do? Come on, bro. Are you force of negationing my mocks? Have you have you really sunk that low? Yeah, I didn't think so. Which one of these three is it? Probably this one, right? Let's get this fat daddy out. Give me that food. Chomp, chomping away. Does Nest work over a local land or does it? Uh, I don't. I have no idea if it goes to the Nest servers. I don't think it does. Like as long as our Wi-Fi is up, I can change my. I can. I can. I can work it. Fuck it. Damn it. Well, that's your turn, though. You know. I guess you can get that swamp back. That's a land. That's a beautiful baby land. Show me what you've got. A fury and five lands. Oh, beautiful. That's what we're talking about, my friend. <laughs> that. That is gorgeous. I mean, two of your lands draw cards, I guess. So that's something. All right, so that one's gone. Oh boy, they're just killing everything I have. It's really sad, but also kind of fine. Land. No land, huh? One, two, three. Let's do this. So you know four of their six cards? Oh, they got the Horizon Canopy, so we actually need more than that. Sure. So once we play Leovold, they actually can't activate their Horizon Canopies.
Oh man, now they have they can get their guy back though, huh? That's a little scary. They gotta run out of lands eventually though, right? Yeah, I don't think we have any answers. That's rough, man. Oh, they they did. I was like, oh my god, they didn't block. But they did block. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Having Maelstrom Pulse in your graveyard is pretty good. Oh, and Ancestral Recall. Yeah. This run in six was just a little too good. Yep. Don't like that. Can we Karn a, an Emblem? Is that a thing? I was feeling really good until they got one birds to block and Ren and Six was exactly on seven. Well, that guy's fun. Really, you don't just put him on, you don't just crack flood lane and put him on three? That's an interesting choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. El Weedo, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Also, definitely subscribe to HelloFresh, guys. What's the problem? What's the problem, guys? It's free shipping. It's 21 free meals. It's like half price. $5 a meal? Yeah, it's, you're not spending that little on your food. Chad, hope you, hope you get it, buddy. I hope you get that job. Oh, cool. Alright, any of these gone? Probably the forest, let's assume. Flooded Strand is in there. So we got three cards and a nurturing peatland somewhere. Alright. Yeah, so they can Maelstrom Pulse again. I feel like they're so far from winning, but like doing very well. <laughs> you got it. Um, two, one, two. Green. So we get to draw a card when they kill this, and then we get to attack them with your boy, Brazy B. Bounce the emblem. That's all I want to do. Oh yeah, Lingering Souls with Retrace instead of Flashback is 
Chef's Kiss. Wow, I did not think Ren and Six was such an integral part of this deck, but clearly it is the the engine. I would have put a lot more pressure on it had I known. They flashed it back? Interesting. Well, the the, the Brazen Bar is, is a lot worse against these guys. Oh boy, we're having a good time. I mean, right now we're just in survival mode, right? But we were not having a good time, you see. Polygon's Command. Uh, target player discards a card. Return a creature from your graveyard. Targeting Fury. Sure, you got it. That's a good card. That is a good card, Daro. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I wonder if what we have in here. If we upheaval, could we just win? <laughs> Do we just win the game if we get the upheaval? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have seven mana, so we'd get one floating, one mox, one forest. We could play Brazen Borrow and just probably kill him. Just kill him dead. So I think we have like maybe three turns to hit a... Hit an upheaval. Well, that makes it worse for sure. I forgot they could just keep Colagons commanding us. I guess their win con is also like Chain Lightning, but they also have to have enough lands for that. This is actually nine, so we have like two turns. I think we have one turn after this. Are they are they doing something during my upkeep? That's kind of funny. I have no idea what it is. I was going to concede, but 
I guess if they wanna. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. So tar pit into preordain, which would have found not much. Fascinating. Definitely bringing in bone shards. And Liliana. Treachery doesn't seem great against them. Man, Treachery's been rough the past few matches. I thought that game was going very well until they played until the Fire Nation attacked. I'm trying to figure out how this is a turn to Ashok. I don't think it is. We don't have any untapped black sources of the Misty Rainforest and Headquarters doesn't make black so I think we just get Zagoth Triome. Because we need a black source. We have double black, black, and black cards in hand. Are they considering mulliganing? Triome, Triome, and Plains and Forest. Hmm, that's a good gentleman. But not today. So we do want to hit a, a land here. <laughs> that would be amazing. That's fine. And that's good. Tarn, Forest, and a Grist. Okay. I like that we hit a Grist because it's a creature. That's hilarious. So we know they have Maelstrom Pulse. And they have a bunch of burn, like Burst Lightning, Chain Lightning, Colagon's Command. If we hit a land, it's actually, we can go Wall of Roots and then Oko. Which is pretty good. Or we can just play Shieldred. That's what we were wanting. That's the what we need, huh? I guess we gotta, gotta pay green here. Green. So long, Siggy Piggy. Oh, did we get a Massacre Worm? Hot. H-O-T. Eladomri's Call. What do you get? Fury. Solid. Can't cast him next turn, so maybe you're just gonna... Pitch it, but these guys are both bigger than four, so... I will block.
Oh, they're just... They're going to kill this wall and deal three to a Planeswalker? That's fine. That's not a concern. Sure. Oh, now they can, like, burst lightning Oko. Kolagon's Command, get back Fury, and... Yeah, that seems really good. I like that. So now they have Fury and three other cards. Yeah, we're just going to plus here. Always yield to that. So they can't kill... I'm not going to risk my shield, or like we know they have Fury, so. Oh, like you had a land. You old sandbagger, you. Wow. Fascinating. Oh, what up, Big Lou? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> uh, who doesn't love that? So this is their second red, and it comes into play tapped. So let's get rid of that for now. Big Lou, always a pleasure, my dude. Your intros are, are, are the stuff of legend. They're just going to cycle it. Weep, weep, weep. They take two if they cycle. I'm okay with that. So they're just evoking this guy, removing a burst lightning from their hand. So we know they have the land in hand. Two and two, you got it. And now chain lightning for the last, fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> well, at least the fury's gone again. I'm exhausted. Ah, I do like that. <laughs> that gets back shouldered. And six. Always a pleasure. Hmm. Oh my god, is that Rob? <laughs> what sound do you think your opponent's avatar makes? 
God, these are good questions. Uh, it's It gets bounced to their hand. It's not a token. It is a signet. It is still a card. We're going to play this guy now. This is, our, this is the time. If you timeless lotus, you, yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? So I, I, I want to get this down because Takanuma plus Shielder is going to be two turns. But if we play this, it's going to be one turn. And we also just get a lotus down. So it also lets us play like Karn if we draw Karn. Or it's, it's fantastic for upheavaling. Things like that. One, two, three, Takanuma. Pay three. One, two, three. What are you gonna get back? The old red. I think we'll save this one for cycling, even though I like it a lot. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. They're just going to Maelstrom Pulse our, our Shieldred. Are you ready for that? They got back an Arid Mesa. They played the Arid Mesa. They cracked the Arid Mesa. <laughs> Everything's happening. Oh, fascinating. I am fascinated, you'll see. Goodbye. Fascinating. Okay, Papa likes that. The perfect sequence, my friends. And they got a lingering souls, huh? That's fine, we'll say goodbye to the menus. Attack, Ren and Six. You should tattoo his name on your butt cheek. <laughs> oh, God. So we know about this lingering souls. And now that's gone. And now it's gone forever. There's so many things happening right now. I can get rid of this. What did they get back? Lounge. And they played it, so I don't even have to keep track of it. Man, Timeless Lotus, Lotus providing lots of mana here. Always yield. So they have four total power. And they can't cast a red card, so I'm pretty safe to attack with Shieldred. Could also just attack their face, but I don't think so, man. I think this stupid Ren and Six is the way to go. <laughs> Dillon Mace was timed out for one second. Yep, this is fine. That'll teach him. Dillon, I hope you learned your lesson, buddy. 
Okay, so they're going to three. <laughs> Mess with the bull, you get the horns for one second. <laughs> see, that's a solid, see, this is solid commentary. Yes, do that. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Well, this has been a this has been a, a sequence of of games. Oh, I took the upheaval out. I guess I didn't need it that round anyway, so I don't know why I cared. Oh man, not the plague. Will you be around for your stip? Oh, the cube goes away next Wednesday, so that's actually there's plenty of time if you want to, if you want to wait. I I actually kind of like animate dead. Like we can get their fury back. That seems good. Treachery does get their shield red. Like now that I've seen some some bigger shitters, I'm gonna take out Custody Lich though, because that guy. Uh, they have a lot of little one one nerdicles. Dude, I can't believe how much work the Ren and Six is doing every single game. Like, it's kind of impressive. All right, not the plague. I'll, I'll wait for you, but if, if it gets too close, I'll just do it without you. You're also a two drop. Uh, don't forget, we did see uh, Massacre Worm, so I really don't want to throw in a deranged tournament and get. Nugged by a massacre worm. Fury also takes out most of the deranged hermit. So, uh, you know. Yeah, the only reason we saw it was because we took it with an Ashiok. So, kind of subtle. I was tempted to cast it, but then... I decided against it. One more cut. Actually, Brazen Bar... I don't know, it's always really good when you play it. I'll just play 41. What the hell? I've lived this dream before. Hmm. Sus. On the draw, one red, one blue or black. You know what? No gamble, no future, guys. If we lose, I accept it. I accept the loss. But if we don't, and we hit a land like that, Then we're living. Protection from instance. Okay. So I assume they're going to pump it twice. Maybe when they go to pump it the third time, we brazen borrow it. That's what Papa likes. The brazen... The borrowers. Use your green. I'll get two green. Well, I, yeah, that's something. That's nice. So we have three, four, five, six mana. We can go. I feel like we kind of just want to get our own Ashiok down. So they have Shouldered and Ashiok as well. So that's good to know.
it's definitely feels like it's going to be one of those games. This is still our first draft. That's unbelievable. No. Oh, interesting. Does that do anything? I mean, I don't know. Okay. Well, Lingering Souls and Renin Six and Kolagon's Commander on Ancestor Rig. That's a bunch of good hits. One, two, three, four. So we can play Shield Red. Let's Baleful Strix first, see what we hit. That's cute. We don't have any green sources yet though. That's interesting. I mean, if we draw a green, we can go him to Torok Leovold, which seems pretty good. Why do I feel like they have a Maelstrom Pulse? <laughs> oh, what up, Matt? Good seeing you, my dude. Okay, you finally hit a creature. It was a Wall of Roots. You were hitting a lot of lands. Two Planeswalkers and Animate Dead. I think I go all in on this because that's kind of good for us. And they didn't have an answer for Shieldred, which is also good for us. Nope. Garrick is not the best draw. Hmm. Fascinating. Did he do it? I feel like I didn't see him do it. I mean, this guy's going to be huge next turn. Just from everything, huh? What is this you're doing? Shh, sure. <sighs> All right, so I guess their plan is buffing this dude forever. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm on like a three turn. No, I'm on a four turn clock, maybe. I think our clock is stronger. This game's kind of a... Kind of a... Thing. Where's my green source at? So we're gonna we're gonna have to hit a land here. Uh, we're also gonna have to use. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually tempted to just attack their face and activate creeping tarpet to kill Ashiok.
It's just like our whole turn, though. Nurturing peatland is kind of exactly what I wanted. Um, because it's an untapped green source, which lets us play Leovold. And I might just keep the bone shards on top. Oh, I guess I need a blue. Because we also have Brazen Barber too, so we have a bunch of little sources of damage here. <sighs> They're at eight, they just took it all? That's fascinating. Oh, they're at six. They can't draw more than one card a turn. There's the Bone Chardies. Got an Ophiomancer, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that makes a guy. Creeping Tarpet is actually... <sighs> Creeping Tarpet's a two-turn clock? Hmm. Maelstrom Pulse, huh? Attack your face. Oh, I didn't attack with the why didn't I attack with the bird too, you know? <laughs> I could have just killed Grist. Oh my god, that was so bad. I think I'm just like in the I'm in the zone. Oh, this is also discard a card. That's even better. So Burst Lightning's here, Incinerate is here, Unholy Heat is here. A lot of their instant speed damage sources are gone. So did they just lose to this Creeping Tar Pit? And then if not, do they lose to this Instant Speed Brazen Bar? Or K Command is also gone, it's right here. It was one of the first cards exiled with Ashiok. They cycled. I think they did. God, this is one, two, three. Get creeping. Oh! The Troph. Woo, feels good. Those are some matches, man. That was some matches. Yeah, they did take Fallen Shinobi out of the cube. Uh, they replaced it with like Saito Umizawa or something. Definitely check out HelloFresh. It's a great deal. You can find it up there. 21 free meals and free shipping. You can get like, we got six meals for like 30, 28 bucks. It was a great deal. It's like $5 a meal. And it helps the stream out immensely. Like they're giving me a great kickback for each of the each of the conversions. So definitely check out HelloFresh. They're delicious. Katie and I have ordered them multiple times in the past, and uh, we love them every time. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons too. Do it on Twitch. Do it on YouTube. Wherever you're at, really appreciate the support. No matter where you're watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.